Good morning everybody. Today I'm going to be taking you through the first hole at Bethpage Black and giving you a quick audio commentary on how I play the first hole. We'll be setting up the hole to be fairly easy. This is not about playing difficult golf, this is just about playing the type of game that you might encounter when you are playing a head-to-head -head match. Tee off. <coughs> right, so first thing I always like to give my shots a bit of backspin unless the conditions require something a bit different. I know that this shot's gonna carry in the region of three hundred and ten. Right, carry was 310, I've got 8 yards of roll. Right, now we're left with a wedge to the green. 96 yards, we'll add another yard for the 2 feet, 97. Add a bit more for backspin, 98. I'm going to play this shot at about 98 yards. Power. Let's make it about 99, just to ensure that I get to the flag. Alright, we can see that the green is not really doing much it's over here it is going left to right and on this side it is going right to left the hole is sitting in somewhat of a, a valley i want to aim just outside right edge <coughs> because what's going to happen is the ball's going to land it's actually going to spin to the left once it lands just due to the slight slight slope and also due to the fact that the wind is blowing right to left it gives the ball that slight right to left momentum so we want to aim just right at the flag, let the ball land and kick a little bit to the left, hopefully finishing very, very close to the hole. We're going to give it 98, 99 yards of power. All right, I missed the ding early on that one, so what we'll do is we'll just take a mulligan. These uh, balls are a little bit too fast for my liking, so I'm not entirely used to them, so I clicked the ding a little bit early, but we'll be applying the same principles again. A little bit of backspin, aim right at the flag, and we want to give it about 98 yards power, 99 yards in that region, try and hit the ding. <laughs> good shot it's gonna spin you see what I mean it lands on this side and it spins back to the left due to the wind and due to the slight and sloping nature of the uh, green and uh, we're left with a fairly easy putt straightforward putt but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go mulligan this again all right I'm gonna talk you through it one more time a little bit of backspin Aim right at the flag due to the sloping green. Want to hit about 99, 98 yards power and hopefully hit the ding again. Alright, I missed the ding on the left that time. And it's gone, it's punished me for missing the ding, as you can see. Now we're left with a difficult putt. This is why hitting the ding is quite important. You never want to miss the ding too much. And uh, unless you are compensating for an intentional ding miss, you don't want to miss the ding. Alright, we're going to try again. Aim right at the flag due to the wind. 99, 98 yards power. Hit the ding. Yeah, we we'll missed slightly right, but now the wind will bring it back to the left. And uh, again, we're left with a very easy birdie. Alright, easy enough to accept a gimme. We'll take the gimme and we will move forward. Alright, this can be quite a difficult hole. These trees on the left can sometimes pose a problem. 
depending where you're teeing off from. Uh, the wind is going right to left, so it means we can actually aim our shot to the right. I usually tee off with a three wood here because of the fact that the fairway is quite short. And we cannot reach the green in one shot. It's too elevated. With a tailwind, it might be possible, but the trees the trees on this side always pose a problem with the tee box. So we have to play safe golf. We aim over here, about 270. Probably not going to reach that distance. I give it a bit of backspin to get the ball to fly. All right, we're clear of the trees. We should be somewhere nicely in the fairway. All right, 264. Right now we are well below the flag, so we have about seven yards. I use about three feet to a yard. So we want to add about 7 yards and make it 8 yards because it's 7 times 3 is 21, 22 feet. So we've got about 8 yards additional to add to this which takes us to 90, 97, 97. Alright, we've got a slight right to left wind so we definitely want to be aiming right of the flag a backspin we are heading to an uphill target and the thing to note about uphill greens is that they don't tend to spin as much as if the green was below your feet so you want to give this a little bit more spin to get the ball to stop quicker we're going to be using about 97 yards power so the sandwich rated at 100 yards is the right club aiming right at the flag and there is a slight right to left slope where we'll be landing the ball. So the ball is definitely going to kick left towards the flag. Alright, let's give it a shot. 97 yards power. Alright, we've got a heartbeat, which means my calculations are very good. And as you can see, that is a very makeable putt for another birdie. Alright, I'm just going to take a mulligan, talk you through that one more time. As I said, 97 yards. We're going to reverse the view. We are aiming right at the flag due to the slight wind. Bit of backspin, get the ball to stop. 97% power, and obviously, to make everything work together, we need a ding. Or at least close to a ding. And I'm very surprised that there's no heartbeat on that gone slightly further. I think I used, yeah, I used 98%, so I was a bit off on the power. But anyway, makeable putt. You can see, look at the green view. We are going left to right for sure. It's only a standard speed green, so it shouldn't break too much. We aim outside left edge from the player's, player's perspective. And we should have an easy play birdie here. Easy enough. There you go. Black, two birdies in a row. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe.